Wrecking here with House of Athletes at Club Fitness. So today's video I'm going to go over on our mid-ball ballistic pro progression. And this is a great, like I'm only going to go through about two movements. I'm going to go through a single hit arm toss and side toss and how we progress them throughout the program. Um, beginning of off-season we start with a heavier weight, somewhere around 30, 30 to 20 pounds depending on where the athlete is and it would go from there. This is a great movement, movement if you want to increase your upper body explosive power, especially if you're a baseball player, a volleyball player, anything you're doing like rotational, that you need rotational power for, especially baseball, softball, volleyball, uh, even special quarterbacks. Quarterbacks big time as well. Anything that's having you do rotational power, but also you can do this to in increase you know, your Upper body production, rate of force development while you're while we're doing a med ball. We take and be able to take a light med ball and move it as fast as you as we possibly can. And we do this from you start from the bottom up, I mean bottom down, and go all the way up. So first off, we're going to start off with a heavy. We're going to start with a single on top. And we start off with. Uh, so for a 30 pound med ball. So all you want to do with this toss, you want to go from here and rotate. So we're still getting a rotation, but we're also working single and power. That's going to be really good for pitchers, baseball, volleyball players, anything that we can uh, you know, isolate and then elevate. So the first one here, we about two reps, through here. Or as you can get to do, one, two. Movement is a side toss. So now we typically start on half knee. Depending on the movement, we might go both knees or half knee. So just depends. So here we're gonna go side toss. Yeah. So we're gonna go side toss here. So your opposite. So this knee would be up. Come here. Or you can do, or you can go. One. Your ideal goal every time should be to knock down the wall. That's the cue that I give to my guys. It's knock down the wall. It's a bit of a problem though. But that intent is going to get there. You try to knock down the wall as fast as you can get. Get that intent. And then you're going to become a much explosive upper body athlete. For, it, for those four. Okay, so now we're getting phase two. So now we're now we start getting a little bit more mobile with it. So now we take now we first we took the lower body out of it, right? So now we're going to integrate it with basically a reactive component. So now we're going to do our more of our depth jumps, step backs, that kind of sort of thing. Okay, so this one's gonna be our side toss. So I'm gonna do a step back and then explode into the wall. Skater step back. From here, step back. All right, now we're going to do our single arm step back. So, I'm going to still be in lateral plane, but then I'm going to spring from my force. So, here, step back. Step back. Now our last progression is now we're going to get like a running start, like a, what we're going to do is approach single arm toss and approach side toss. Now typically in this last phase I would make it more sport specific for say a quarterback, baseball player, get them into that swing motion or I'm not really trying to change the swing, I'm just trying to get them to produce a power from the hips all the way through the trunk. That's what we're doing right now. Okay, the very first one we're going to do is approach the side toss. So I'm going to start about right here. We like a little running start, just like we would do on approach box drum. And rotate. So here, as far as I can. So in this phase, now we're down to a, to a 10. So you should be able to really explode, really move, move it with a lot of velocity. So here. As you can. So, so typically in the final phase, we also do what is called post-activation propulsion, which is basically a high, high, light, 
tighten the nervous system and we're going to pair a heavy resistance with a light explosive movement. So this could be a trap bar deadlift paired with a hurl jump. In this case, it would be a approach single arm side, approach side toss with a landmine rotational press. So theory wise, which has been proven, is that you take a heavy resistance, which would be a landmine press, and then we come over to this. Now we'll be able to throw it even harder because we've already been working that rotation. So stuff like that, especially when you come to jump, that's just real big. Okay, so in this last one, now we're into, now we're doing approach single arm toss. So typically I would do a shuffle single arm toss or depending on your position, I might do a drop step for quarterback, shuffle for baseball and softball. So we're here. Approach, and I'm gonna turn throw here, right there. Now we're gonna turn. But so I'm starting laterally, shuffle as far as you can. Every time, that's the goal is to break down the wall every single time. So uh, I hope this helps. This is great. This is great stuff for football, even baseball, basketball. Now, if you want me to go over specific movements I do for each sport, uh, just drop in the comments and let me know. Uh, this is very, very, really important for baseball players to, to do to increase your throwing velocity and your exit velocity off the bat. Great for volleyball players to come down pitching, I mean, come down spiking. Great for quarterbacks, increasing our arms, arm strength and arm velocity as well. So I hope this helps, hope you got better got something out of this and whatever you want to see next drop a comment i can go over any kind of sport any kind of movement you name it you got it hope this helps catch y'all next time